YouTube. Um, I have finally making a YouTube video again. I haven't made one since June, I think. So I'm making one now because I have finally come to a place where I can actually film stuff because everybody's been interrupting me and I've been really busy and haven't been able to make one in forever. Like literally forever. And I've been trying to sit down and make one but just haven't had the time. So I'm finally in Scottsdale, Arizona. Current weather. 109. Exciting. Um, and I've been in Stockton, California, San Francisco, California, Laguna Beach, California, Newport Beach, California, Huntington Beach, California. Did I say Santa Cruz? I don't know. Um, but that's where I've been so far. So I've kind of bought things over time, so I guess this could be like a haul. So when I was in Bellevue, I bought from uh, Paxson a Diamond Supply Co. tank top. I recently went to Paxson today in Scottsdale, and they have a lot like this, like a bunch of t sh bunch of tank tops in Paxson and in Zoomies. There's a ton. Well, I don't know the Zoomies here, but they're probably like restocking all over. So there's if there isn't a lot of Diamond Supply Co. in your Paxson and Zoomies, then they'll probably come soon because there's a lot here in Scottsdale, and there was a lot of like tank tops and half shirt kind of ones, crop tops, so yeah. Also when I was in Bellevue I bought myself a pair of Wanda Under Lululemons. They're like reversible so okay, purple looks really blue in this one but it's really just a purple. Let's see if you can in the light. Okay, you can't really see it, can't tell, but they're reversible to this light blue. And so they're super comfortable. Hoping to get a pair of black cropped ones soon. Okay. Um, when I was in San Francisco, I went to a Giants game, and it was really cold because it was a night game. So I bought a giant Giants gray hoodie. So that's nice to have now because it was really cold. Um, let's see. Um, in April, I ordered a pair of maroon leggings from Urban Outfitters, and they finally came in June because there was a million, like, shipping and back orders and stuff. So, I haven't tried them on yet, but they seem kind of cool. They're kind of like a, I don't know, weird. They're interesting, but I like them. Probably wear it with a jean shirt or sweatshirt, whatever. And... When I was in Newport Beach, I went to Brandy Melville, and I just got a half shirt. I wore this for 4th of July with some Hollister jean shorts, just kind of simple. Um, also from Brandy Melville, I bought this ring. Um, let's see. And this necklace. Okay, it has an earring attached to it. Looks like this. It's funny because it has like a little shark tooth. Um, also, since I'm in the jewelry right now, I bought a ring from this vintage store in Huntington Beach. It's like a gold paper airplane. Um, I also bought these earrings from Forever 21. They look like that. Um, And I bought these from Forever 21. I haven't worn them yet, but they're pretty cute. So I thought I'd get them since they're like a dollar eighty. They look like that. Yeah. Um when I was at Forever 21, I also bought this mint sweater. It's really thin, so it'll be nice for like nights. It looks like that. The sleeves are kind of tight, so like you can always like push them up or whatever, but they look cute pushed up, but they also look really cute tamped down. Uh, when I was in Santa Cruz, I bought two nail polishes, and these are kind of like, I haven't actually painted my nails because they're well messed up, so I had to like cut them really short and like let them grow back so they could like look good again. So I bought Essie's Naughty Nautical. 
it's actually a really cool color and I didn't notice this until I started painting them the first time that there's sparkles there's really fine sparkles in there um, and then I also got NYC's New York color uh, preppy pink it's like a hot pink so you have to put on a couple more coats on, on this one because it's like comes out really light like one coat so you have to like put like, I put like three coats on so I bought that I have run out of all my perfume so it was really depressing so I bought perfume today ran out of my Hollister SoCal perfume I think this is seasonal and only comes out during winter time but seriously this is like one of my favorite perfumes like ever it smells so good and then uh, a couple of summers ago I bought a Hollister Malaya Molly Malia I don't know how Malaya I think it is and looks like this and I ran out sad so today I went to Nordstrom's and bought a new perfume and I'm so happy that I finally got this oh yes Dior you probably saw that upside down I was like oh maybe y'all it's like yep let's see and then this Dior cherry original one it smells really good and I got um and I got moisturizing body milk like a lotion with it it was like a total of like $125 for this pack so super excited about that because it smells like really good so like totally suggest it I remember when I was watching Arden A Rose 186 she's one of my favorite youtubers uh, perfume haul collection kind of thing and she said Miss Dior was a really good one so I tried it um, at Sephora once they gave me like little samples and so I really liked it so I decided to buy that it was either between that or like the Abercrombie cologne fierce um, yeah it's a cologne but it smells really good and um, I talked to the model the people who work there and they said they wear it the girls so it's kind of like a unisex fragrance it smells really good and everybody's like why does it smell like Abercrombie Finch in here it smells so good who is that who's close to that oh it's me hi yep um so I decided to go with that one because since Hollister didn't have any more SoCal perfume it that was my number one so I bought that and I bought just a couple hours ago the new Teen Vogue August edition with Emma Watson on it it's really interesting because it talks about like her career and um, Harry Potter and perks of being a wallflower and like modeling and fashion and uh, school so I thought it was an interesting one yep um I'm also trying to I started this book in like June or something or May and I never like actually because like I had to do a bunch of finals and stuff so I never actually got really a chance to read it so I'm gonna try to start this up it's the last book in the um, goddess test series it's the god inherent goddess inheritance by Amy Carter so I'm gonna try to read that and last night I finished the whole whole season whole season whole series of Gossip Girl and in my opinion I love that it is my favorite series ever so it's kind of I'm really sad that it ended and I'm so happy that Blur and Chuck oh shit I probably shouldn't say that never mind if you haven't seen it because I don't want to spoil it for the people who are either currently watching it or currently watching it or going to maybe start it I totally suggest starting it it may just seem like a stupid series with all these Upper East Side New York people and gossip but it's actually like a really good show so I'm deciding either to watch The Vampire Diaries I've heard it's good I w was watching the first episode and I was already semi bored of it so I'm either gonna start that I'll see how it goes and see if I like it or not if I want to continue but if you have any ideas of what TV shows series to watch on like Netflix please suggest them to me because I'm really trying to figure out what I want to watch now um, and I'll try to find these items and uh, link them in the bottom bar the below bar so yep 
okay